On this Debaco University Student Series video, we're going to look at both the pros and cons and compare a mechanical timer to a digital timer. Now, many of you make, may make the decision of using one versus another, but this is going to provide you with that information so you can make an educated decision on which one is the best for your growing operation. These are both timers that you could use for your grow. This one is a digital timer and this one is a mechanical timer. They both have their pros and cons, which we will be going over in this video so that you can determine which is best for your operation. Now we're gonna go over the pros and cons of a mechanical timer. So as you can see, a mechanical timer is a bit more straightforward and simple than a digital timer. There's a lot less going on right here for you to work with. Really, you only have to press down some buttons and move some things left and right for it to be set up. A con would be that you have to set it up through 15 minute increments. The most precise that you could be on this is by 15 minutes, which isn't usually a problem, but some people would like to have it be a little bit more precise. Another con is on the side, we have a switch that goes from timer to indefinite. This means that the light will be on indefinitely, and it's very easy to sometimes switch this into the indefinite, meaning that your light will not switch off when you have it scheduled to, meaning that your photo period may be interrupted. So now we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of a digital timer. Some of the pros are that it's just more precise in general. You can see the exact time, and we have a bunch more buttons to work with. We see we could just the day of the week, the hour, the minute, even the second. Um, another pro is that it has a battery backup. So just in case something was to happen where you lose power, this will actually remember what time it is. It will retain the exact time so that nothing is really changed within your schedule for when the lights turn back on or off. Um, a con would be that it's just a little more complicated than a mechanical timer. If you're used to a mechanical timer, then all of these buttons may be a little overwhelming at first. I mean, you may be confused as to why you need seconds when before you were adjusting by the 15 minute increments. Um, another con is that it's kind of just, the buttons are tiny and close together. So if you had big fingers, you have the risk of pressing multiple buttons or if somebody was being careless, they could accidentally hit one of these buttons, which could change your timing from being auto to just on all the time or off all the time, which would impact your photo period. Another con is that unlike a mechanical timer, you can't really see the logistics of what's happening inside this timer. You just kind of have to hope that everything's going on properly within the timer um, and just keep checking to see if anything looks off just by this little screen here, rather than being able to see everything that's going on with your timer. So now that we've gone through the pros and cons of both the mechanical and digital timer, it is up for you as a grower to decide which one you would like to implement in your grow operation. Now a tip from Debaco himself would, to be, would be to use the digital timer for your pumps because when you feed your plants is very important down to the exact second and to use the mechanical timer for your lights because a 15 minute difference isn't going to drastically affect your photo period. So in the end it is up to you whether you will decide to use a digital or a mechanical timer. Either way it'll be one step closer to fully automating your grow and making your life a step easier.